It's a misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Rest in peace, Eric Garner. And for those that don't know this situation, I'm sure you've had to hear, uh, have heard of it. Excuse me. This was a man who was. in my eyes, murdered by the police um, in Staten Island, not too far away from me here. I'm in Jersey. And um, it's been all over the news, all over the internet. Um, <clears throat> you know, before I go into this whole shit, because a lot of people were asking me, what are my thoughts on this situation? Let me just address one fucking fool here on um, YouTube that goes by the uh, name of Bob Taylor. He has a um, avatar that has uh, um, Bob Marley's uh, image, the legendary Bob Marley's image on it. This guy uh, is a fucking troll. And um, I don't know, you know, you can't really tell what race this, this person is. I'm assuming he's he's some just just some punk ass nigga that got nothing else better to do with his time than than um, follow me around on several videos, um, and uh, this just goes to prove uh, my point and better yet, um, brother David Carroll's point that black men just don't know how to agree to disagree and walk the fuck away and how these men um, act like females have female traits and I've s said this before another YouTuber that I always shout out Aquasi100 um, he said this before in um, a few of his videos how men are feminine act emotional um, how this connects to this video is I was on one of David Carroll's videos and um me and this dude had a disagreement and he was asking me, it was about that, uh, what's that, that girl's name, V. Stiviano, the chick that's with that, uh, that was with um, Donald Sterling. No, I think she's still, well, who, whatever this, this that is, is um, I was just talking about how, yeah, she didn't, uh, a lot of black people won't blame her, won't criticize her, which is what David Carroll was saying in his video that how um, no blacks will put her up on the cross because she's mixed or part black or whatever the case may be. And um, this dude was asking for references on how people are sort of edifying her. And I brought two publications and I showed it to him. I said, here, read this, read this. Of course, he found ways around this. And, well, no, that doesn't really count. He said one was because a female, uh, the, the lady that wrote it, her name is Queer Black Feminist and she had some agenda or whatever. And I'm like, okay, what does that have to do with what she wrote? You know. So anyway, long story short, I proved my fucking point. This dude comes back, not, uh, doesn't want to keep it on David Carroll's platform. He comes, follows me to my video, comes on to, uh, I think it was the common video where I was talking about how he disagreed with what um, Lord Jamar said. And he starts coming at me because I went on another David Carroll video, the one that was talking about this incident, the Eric Garner thing. And he goes, oh, um, you're following King Coon. You didn't even call him out, this and that. Um, you're using David Carroll's ling lingo, whatever the fuck that means. And um, he's, I don't know, this is just how motherfuckers are. I had, needless to say, I blocked his ass because I, I don't have time to deal with Negroes like that to sit around and have 
nothing else better to do than to follow my ugly ass around. And, um, you know, I had to explain to him, yeah, I do feel for the dude, uh, Eric Garner, that died and this and that. But, you know what, I'm taking up too much time talking about this cat. I know he's watching this, so I just want to say fuck you. And um, this is my Eric Garner video. But anyway, Eric Garner, uh, my thoughts on the situation. For those that don't know, this man was uh, standing in front of a, what appeared to be a store or whatever. Uh, you could see this on film. Um, if I find um, a good, good video of it, I'll post the link down there for those that don't know the situation. Um, this guy was standing in front of a store or whatever, and you see cops, about, I think two, maybe two or three cops there, and they're standing around him, and you see he's kinda, kinda a little bit agitated, uh, I'll use that word, and um, you know, you just hear him say, y'all keep harassing me, I didn't do anything, I broke up a fight, I broke up a fight, ask these guys, at the witnesses here, you know, he's like, y'all keep bothering me. This has to stop. This stops today. Y'all got to leave me alone, you know, talking to the cops. And, um, you know, the guy who's recording, I want to uh, shout him out. I forgot his name, but um, he's been getting interviewed and stuff. But thank you for recording this shit. And even he was saying that he was like, nah, he broke up a fight. He was on this guy's side. Cops didn't want no parts of that. Um, didn't want to hear that. So, um, you know, I think, yeah, I think a few more cops came and, um, you know, one of them tried to, uh, they, were, they were trying to restrain him. So he kind of pulled away. He was like, yo, don't touch me. You know, like, I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. So one cop came around and put him in a choke, in a chokehold and brought him, turned him, brought him down to the ground. Um, and all of them piled on him. You hear this dude saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Stop, I can't breathe. And they all pile on him. The one guy's pressing his head into the concrete and shit. And um, he's just laying there lifeless, taking his last breaths. And um, <clears throat> it was just sad to, to see. I, I seen this um, maybe four or five times too many. And it's very sad. It, it's sad. Um, in fact, I, I don't even think I could put it down there for y'all because it, it really is. Um, it, it's it's a fucking crying shame, man. And even thinking about it, I'm getting a little bit choked up. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, it, it it's just sad. And. Um, I saw one of the videos, I think Tommy Sotomayor put it up, of this dude's son watching the footage of um, his father being wrestled to the ground by these fucking cops. And it's, oh man. Um, let me say this. <clears throat> when it comes to the police, I've said this in other videos, I don't have a problem with cops with cops that do their jobs, you know what I mean? That have a good heart and actually want to make a fucking difference. I don't have a problem with that. So this uh, video and my anger in this video isn't directed towards cops like that because I personally know cops that are cool ass dudes that aren't looking to jam people up. Um, this is directed to corrupt ass cops to, to fucking law enforcement who um, don't know how to control themselves, who abuse their power, yada, yada, yada. Um, it goes to, to those cops. Um, fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. I mean, this is just another classic example of a motherfucker who really didn't do anything because uh, later on you find out that the reason that they stopped him, that they surrounded him, the, the they're trying to justify it by saying, well, he was selling um, untaxed cigarettes. 
So essentially, someone lost their life because they were selling or supposedly selling untaxed cigarettes, Lucy's. You know, it, it, that just kills me because you, there are so much better things to do than to go after somebody that's selling untaxed cigarettes. It, it, it this is this is fucking astounding. Then y'all wonder why I have this disdain for humanity and 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 just people in general. You know, y'all don't know how to prioritize shit. Um, y'all just, a lot of y'all corrupt cops just want to run around making quotas. Like, the shit is just fucking stupid. Untaxed cigarettes. I mean, uh, I, oh man. Um, okay. What, what else is bugging me is, um, I'll leave the link for this too down there. A lot of these cops, that know that they're in the wrong with this one, that they, they gotta be in the fucking wrong. They're sitting here um, shitting on this dude, shitting on his name after he died. I'm gonna um, post a link to it down there. Um, when I read some of these comments, I was like, really? You know, um, some of them were just saying just the most tasteless, heartless shit. And I, I'm not even going to go into that. And then um, another thing I really want to talk about is uh, what a lot of blacks need to go into, what a lot of blacks need to address when it comes to this sort of shit. And um, I'm going to leave an example of um, what the Chinese do to some of these corrupt cops. What happens in China? Now, I'm not going to verbalize it because I don't want people to take it as, oh, I'm advocating certain, uh, violence and shit like that, but I'll leave the link for that down there too. Because, you know, I have to link this to how some of you blacks, some of you Negroes um, rally, but it's not taken seriously. This is why I put out some of them videos like rallying Negroes, how some of you guys rally behind crazy ass shit and, and it don't make sense. Um, if you're gonna rally and be about something, y'all gotta be serious about it. And I'm gonna post a link to that down there and you'll see what happens to these, to these cops. Out in China, they don't play around. When, when they see that there's an injustice I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay? I'll post a link down there, you fucking read it. And come back here and tell me what you think about that shit. When they see these fucking corrupt cops and see what they do to them. Uh, shit, I, I, um, you know, I just hope that a lot of you dudes have the same fervor when it comes to black on black crime as well because I've brought up Chicago and other YouTubers have brought up Chicago as well because um, you know it, that is a genocide going out there so y'all should channel your energies towards that too not just this I mean my heart goes out to Eric Garner and his family you know that this is it's fucking amazing how this shit went down um, As for the situation, because I know some of y'all are gonna ask me, as some of, some of y'all are gonna say, well, he was fighting back and this and that. Look, I'm not gonna say that he was super cooperative. I will, I will say that. He was, he was agitated, he was pissed, you know? All right, I, I'll give you that, he was pissed off. But you can see the reason why he was saying it. Guys, y'all come at me every day. This is enough. I'm tired of this shit. You know, um, you know, I had a talk with a few of my friends, and a lot of them are saying, well, you know, uh, he should have complied. You know, uh, 
when I get pulled over, um, all I do is comply and blah, 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 because I know I didn't do anything wrong, which they do have a point. They do have a point, you know, because I've been pulled over and I know I, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. Or if I did, you know, I'll be talking to the cop, you know, very easy, you know, hey, you know, what's up? Did I do anything wrong? Could I, how do I rectify the situation? My fault, you know, which they do have a point in that. But at the same time, if what Eric Garner is saying is true, I can see his agitation. I mean, shit, you guys are coming at me all the time. I'm not doing anything. I'm sitting here. I broke up a fight. Ask them. I'm just minding my business. I broke up a fight. You know, even if you're asking me questions, I'm telling you this is what happened. And I have uh, people to um, corroborate my story here. So, you know, and um, another criminal lawyer had come, uh, recently came out, excuse me, and even said that, you know, if you're going to approach somebody based on the fact that he was selling Lucy's, why don't you just give him a citation? Just give him a citation and, and, and uh, get the whole shit over with, you know? What do you mean fucking 70 cops on top of this guy for? You know, this situation, I'm sure that if the cops were talking to him, like, listen, we just, we, we, we just got to um, fucking, you know, we got to do this. Listen, let me just get this over with. I'm pretty sure he would have been a little bit compliant. He would have been pissed off. I mean, I'm, I'm putting myself in his shoes. You know, I, I, after a while, I would see that me arguing ain't getting anywhere. Look, just give me what I need to get. And I'm going to go and fight this because y'all are too much. You know, that's the one thing I will say. If anybody's in a similar situation, just say, hey, listen. Give me my shit. I would look at the, the badges. Look at them. Go to, a, go to one of these lawyers that, that uh, go against um, law enforcement that have a great track record of suing the police. Because actually this cop that put the chokehold, the illegal chokehold that... Um, is a band in New York because you're not supposed to block someone's airway. Um, he's been sued before, but the, the cops are saying, well, he's done a good job. That, that That's a sign of him doing a good job, him getting sued. Yeah, okay. But, um, yeah, y'all just gotta be um, cognizant of the situation at hand. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I kind of, I do get both sides, but it should have never gone to the fact, the, the point where there was someone blocking his fucking airway to get him down. It shouldn't have even had to them gone to them putting his their hands on him. Shouldn't have gone there. They should have stood there, giving him a citation. Look, this is what it is, and and, and it would have been done with. That's almost comparable to you. Um, driving a cop pulls you over and him giving you a uh, a, a seatbelt ticket which is basically next to nothing you know what I mean you know give him his ticket say hey, listen hey, hey, look we're just gonna do this and maybe he would he would have been pissed but it, it would have been better than this motherfucker losing his life let's just put it that way um, and that's all I gotta say um, that's how I feel about it uh, I'm sad, definitely saddened. Um, I'm telling you, black people, um, you know, let's organize our shit so this shit can never happen again. Um, and, you know, channel your energies. Like I said, the same energy that you're using towards this situation, use it towards Chicago the black um, black epidemic out there. Use it towards that too. So that way motherfuckers will start to take us a little bit more seriously. And um, rest in peace to Eric Garner, rest in peace to um, anyone who's had their lives uh, ended by uh, corrupt cops. And I hope to God that Eric Garner's family sues the shit don't even settle. Don't settle. I want you to 
make sure that those cops, those very cops that were there saying, oh, he's all right when he was laying there unresponsive and nobody was saying, dude, you okay, you okay? No one was applying CPR, no one gave a fuck. I hope all them cops there, especially the one that put the chokehold on this guy, I hope they end up in the unemployment line or end up having to eat out of a homeless shelter. That's what I hope, at the very least. So, my condolences to Eric Garner's family. I think I've rambled on long enough. And um, that's it. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Fuck you corrupt cops. And uh, rest in peace, Eric Garner, all right? Peace, bitches.